So now we reach the second part of Book 1 of Euclid's Elements. But before we continue, we need to introduce the remaining rules. First, we begin with Euclid's fifth postulate. In Euclid's fifth postulate, we are given two straight lines and a third line that intersects both lines. Now Euclid says that if two interior angles on the same side are less than two right angles, then the two straight lines, when extended, will always intersect. Specifically, they will intersect in the direction where the two interior angles lie. Now compared to Euclid's four other postulates, Euclid's fifth postulate isn't as simple and intuitive to understand. In fact, it reads more like a proposition. And ever since it first appeared around 300 BC, there have been countless attempts to find a proof. But the important fact we know today is that it is impossible to prove Euclid's fifth postulate. So what does this mean? Well, for now we must accept the fifth postulate as a fundamental, unprovable truth. Next, we introduce definition 7. If two lines that are in the same plane never intersect, then the lines are parallel lines. Therefore, line AB is parallel to line CD. Definition 6. A parallelogram is a shape that has the opposite sides parallel. Therefore, line AB is parallel to line CD, and line AC is parallel to line BD. The line that cuts across a parallelogram is called the diameter. Now, a square is a type of parallelogram that has all of its sides congruent and all the interior angles are right angles. And finally, we introduce axiom 6. If A is congruent to B, then A plus A is congruent to B plus B. And the opposite is also true. If A plus A is congruent to B plus B, then A is congruent to B. So this completes our list of definitions and rules, and we can now finish Book 1 of Euclid's Elements.